Hi, I'm Vicki Brenner. I'm a library technician with Oxford County Library and I'd like to uh, show you one of our newer resources uh, called Press Reader and it will allow you to access global um, magazines and newspapers uh, through a digital uh, platform called Press Reader. So if you'd like to follow along with me uh, on my screen, I'm at the library website in the upper left-hand corner here, ocl.net. I'm going to follow to our e-library resources, and we're just going to go to all of our databases and our subscriptions, because we, we subscribe to Press Reader for you, for our library users. Um, to, for you to take advantage of. It's one of the benefits of having a library card with us. So we're going to get started. Click on Press Reader now. So it's going to open a new window for you and we'll need to authenticate that you are an Oxford County Library user. So I'm just going to click Sign In. Now because I already have an account, um, but I'm just going to, this is what we're seeing here, but what you'll want to do is choose library. So click on library and then we're going to search for our li library. So I'm going to do a search here for Oxford and we have Oxford County Library popping up right there. Please pick that. And what I'll do is enter my library card and PIN number and sign in. So if you need help accessing those two numbers, please reach out to us. Contact my account at ocl.net by email, reach out to us uh, on social media, or call your uh, local branch library. We'd love to walk you through this process so you can get started on using this resource. So this is what um, Press Reader looks like. It's very visual. It's great to use on a mobile device or a tablet because uh, it's very easy to page through a magazine just like you would your favorite print magazine. Uh, the sort of the benefit of Press Reader is you have many, many very specialist niche magazines that you might be interested in that it would be very hard to find in a print format. Uh, international magazines, um, they're all readily available here as well as daily newspapers. So we have sort of our featured area here. We have newspapers um, from all over the world on a daily basis. Um, so what we can do is just click on the left hand side here and choose countries. And let's pick Canada. And it's sort of going to curate those two Canadian publications. So you can stay up to date with your news with Press Reader. Uh, and you can even dial it down further into provinces and territories. It's just going to show you uh, which Ontario uh, news, daily newspapers and weekly newspapers are available uh, every day for you to look at. So this is sort of a sort of for all intents and purposes a back button to just go back to what you were looking for or go one step up in the search uh, searches that we've been doing. But you can also just click on publications to sort of get back to that main page. Uh, so they always have the Canada button there so you can access sort of local content uh, at all times and then magazines. Um, so they're sort of giving you a featured um, list here along with a lot of Canadian publications just sort of to pique your interest, give you an idea of what might be available to you. Uh, but on the left hand sidebar here they've broken it down into what I'm going to call like a library term, genres for lack of a, a better term, uh, or subject areas. So obviously uh, all kinds of crafts and hobbies, food, uh, sports, health and fitness, outdoors, all kinds of travel and culture, lots of opportunities to explore all with your library card and free, which is great. I'm just going to touch on sort of the navigation area of Press Reader, the three lines right here. 
And that's going to allow you to access uh, sort of your account within Press Reader. Uh, publications is where you're going to see any issues, any magazine issues that you can save and refer to, uh, like continue reading if you've only uh, read half of that, half of the publications. So we'll refer back to that again in a minute. Um, here is where you would search publications. Um, and, and additionally, you can search within publications. Not only are you searching for titles of publications that might be of interest to you, uh, but you can actually search text like for news stories for sort of a, a more of a research benefit um, as well. So if I wanted to geek out and look at knitting magazines, which I do like to do, um, it's going to show all the publications, um, so it's going to sort them by relevance and offer you similar. You can add it to your topics that you would search all the time. So I'm just going to look at this issue of the knitter. And here is where you can add it to your publications to refer back to this issue um, at a later time. And what we're seeing here, there's two sort of view options. This is more like, this is called page view, and it's more like you are paging through a magazine. On the right hand side where my cursor is, you'll see this is how you would move forward if you're working on a laptop. Of course, if you're on a tablet or a phone, you can swipe to go to the next page. So you can page through just like you would uh, a print magazine. Because this is sort of an instructional uh, type of publication, um, I just wanted to point out that it does, Press Reader op offers you the ability to print. So if you see right here, there's three little lines. If I, t if I click on that, it will allow me to save the article. See, I have a highlighted page here. I can save that page to my collection, or I can print it if I want to print out a knitting pattern and uh, make it at home. It makes it very easy, easy to do that. The ribbon at the bottom of the screen here is much like a table of contents. If I click the back arrow, it's allowing me to page through and jump to specific articles. So we'll just go back and go back to my publications. So again, if we uh, experience, uh, you're looking for more of a um, a research aspect, and we say go to newspapers, we can do looking for the latest on Donald Trump. We can try searching Trump. <laughs> and we see he's that word has come up five million times recently, as you can imagine. So the three little lines will also allow you to access to translate any foreign language publications as well. So we'll just go back to our three little lines and publications. And anything that you favorited uh, or saved to return to later, is always just going to be in your home screen as you log in. You'll always have my publications here. I've saved this photography uh, magazine for me to read later. And those are always going to pop up right here. Um, and then your features. So it's sort of a side scrolling. I'm just using a mouse wheel on my laptop to go sideways. Uh, but on a uh, device or tablet, you can swipe to go sideways. So there are more options here as far as sorting. Um, as I mentioned, 
uh, you can just sort of play with the configuration depending on your tablet or phone as far as display. And as I mentioned before, if I click on under my sort of settings, my uh, place where I can have control over how I use Press Reader, if I click on publications, as I said, you'll always have access to the ones that you're saving to uh, look at at a later date. So I hope you've, you explore this resource because it's quite valuable and I love the fact that the, the magazines are full color and it gives an experience much like reading a print magazine. So again, if you have any uh, questions about this resort, resource, call your Oxford County Branch Library, uh, reach out to us on social media or contact my account at OCL.net and we can help you uh, get set up with this, this resource. Thanks for joining me today.